This is the fastest man in the world versus one of the fastest dog breeds in the world, the Malinois. Fulligan. <laughs> Zitz. Zitz. You said what, bro? All attention on you now, Eddie. <laughs> Zeet, good. <laughs> oh, man. This thing got real, the dog down here. <laughs> Always cool and fire, the dog. <laughs> oh, man. Ass. <laughs> oh, man. Huh? Oh, man. Hold it up like that. Now, once he hit you, you spin with him. Gather yourself, walk backwards, and then let him work, okay? Now, he's going to come pretty fast, but don't let that make you move out the way or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me know when you're ready. Back. They're walking. Primo. Fulligan. No. Ready? <laughs> Still it. Get up, get up, get up. Backwards. Don't let them work you too hard. Don't let them work you too hard. Don't let them work it too hard. Walk backwards. Slow down. Go on. Pull up. Pull again. Up. He got a good bite him. I thought he said this was thick. He could bite this thing. Woo! Woo! Man. Was it what you thought it was going to be? That was a lot. <laughs> I ain't expect that much power. I thought he was going like, to bite him when I tried to bring him around. He was just going to kind of flow with it, but Ooh, he got some power. Woo! Man. 
<laughs> you want to do another one? You want to redeem yourself? I can try. <laughs> you can try. I feel like I'm getting away from it. Why would you just outrun him? <laughs> How the hell did he turn me away? Just leave y'all there together. So he's going to, after he hit impact, then turn him around. Because you don't want to give him no uh, messed up target. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Good job. That was better. Put that arm down his side. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Boy. Yeah, he like you. Good boy. That's Uncle Tyson now, boy. Ooh, good boy. He walking backwards. Yes, sir. What'd you say, boy? When you're going through this bite work, you start to think about your life after they take you down. It's like you never want to be in that situation. At least not with Primo. <laughs> so he says it's a workout. Uh, it's a different type of conditioning, right? So I remember when I was uh, I was a lot younger. I was probably about 19, 20. And this guy was working these dogs. He had like 30-some dogs right? on a Saturday class. And then he like working them. To me, just watching, I thought it was normal because he wasn't tired. He wasn't crouched over, nothing. I'm talking about it was dog after dog after dog. Send your dog, bro. They run, bite. He fight them a little bit. Next dog, he doing like 30 dogs. So then, as I started to, you know, stick around, I started taking bites. But as I'm taking bites, I'm getting tired. So I'm thinking like I'm on my first dog. And I'm done. So I started to realize that I knew that he wasn't running every day. I knew he wasn't really working out like that. So then I the more I started working him, the smarter I started to become. Because you already your adrenaline is, is going uh you're trying to push so much out of you because that's what the dog is giving you. Sometimes you're not breathing properly and you don't know these things. But the more I started working dogs, I started to realize that I was working smarter in my home. You know, I can catch a dog, I can challenge it, I can make sure that he got good grips, I can challenge him a little bit, he give me a little bit, uh, he punch in to me, I can, you know what I'm saying, make him feel good. But when you was working for the first time, just because you're there, you're trying to give him everything right then and there, and then you're breathing a little too heavy, and then sometimes you forget to breathe because you're trying to think about him biting you. It takes a lot out of you. It's a different type of conditioning. 